Hi, I'm Cartha Gewert, and this is Josh. Josh. Josh, Josh, Josh. Today we're eating some of the most popular ASMR foods. I'm not gonna eat it in mass quantities like they do, but I'm just curious about what some of these things are. Sea grapes are the caviar of the ocean. Kind of like how caviar is the caviar of the river. <laughs> I think, but apparently it has a very salty, umami flavor, but a lot of the reviews on Amazon said that this tastes absolutely delicious. I thought that the thumbnail with this photo was the most mesmerizing thing I've ever seen. It has an interesting crunch to it. It has an interesting saltiness to it. Some of these mukbang things, they don't look like they would taste good, but they have like a, an interesting pop or crunch or like sound to them. Maybe this will taste good and it'll be my new favorite food, who knows? I like how there were health facts on the side of that video too. It's like, hmm, maybe doing this will be good for me. Let's just read some things about this. Oh. So I'm supposed to add these sea grapes to a bowl of ice water. Look at that super food from the ocean. Thousand Island dressing it comes with. On this packaging, they spell delicious delicous. Wonderful. Just absolutely premium. All right, we're gonna put her in a bowl and then maybe these will blow up just beautifully and become the appetizing, crunchy. What is that? All right, we're getting it out of the bag and we only have to let this sit here for three minutes, so. It better be good. They're kind of starting to bubble up, hey? And then after this, I'm supposed to transfer it to another bowl of water and wait another three minutes. So this is a six minute process. I'm gonna get my Thousand Island on. I don't see the mukbangers doing it, but it comes with it. Like this is obviously an OTP. This is obviously a pairing. It's starting to look like the grape. Come on in. Gorgeous, hey? Now I'm gonna take these little things and then move them to another bowl of ice water because it's telling me to. This is my basketball ice and my large ice. This is the only ice I had, so. Josh is angry because this is actually his ice, but. I needed to borrow it. It looks so cool. And all of the reviews and like internet stuff I've read about this is about like the taste and the succulent softness and how it pops in your mouth like a, like a piece of caviar wood. Wikipedia says it's good for diabetes and I wonder if that's true. This is a Japanese algae. Isn't that interesting that how this is an algae? It's kind of gross. Okay, it's time to eat these here sea grapes. <laughs> um, Wait, I'm gonna like try to make it like the thumbnail. Oh, oh no, that's really salty. This is like a, a brine. Oh, sorry, that's gross. You can cut that. <laughs> oh no. Okay, you ready? <coughs> if you like the taste of seawater, it's really nice. It tastes like, you know when you go swimming, like at, at a beach outside in the world, like and you accidentally get some water in your mouth, that's what this tastes like. Actually, it was quite good with the dressing. The dressing brings out like the brininess of it. And with the dressing, it tastes more like a pickle. By itself, it's very seawatery. I don't know how people can eat mass amounts of this. Lucky for me, I watched a lot of ASMR videos and I noticed that a lot of people enjoy eating chicken nuggets. So while I eat this disgusting garbage, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat some nuggets as well. We know this is good. The value of watching somebody eat chicken nuggets, sorry. The, the sea caviar, <clears throat> okay. The value of watching somebody eat chicken nuggets is that it's 3 a.m., you're starving, you wanna eat. He's Josh. He's actually killing me. You can't have one. It's 3 a.m., you're crying like this guy, all right? You're starved. You can watch somebody eat some of these and there's something satisfying about watching them dip it, get a good dip in, watch the crunch. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Unlike the sea grapes, which are very much like a crunchy, like kind of visceral experience, this is more of like a comfort experience. Like the reason why this is so popular is because this is universal. It's so good it makes the dog cry. I want to bring your attention to a viral ASMR video that made me want to replicate it really, really badly. This is called Kitten Eating a Sausage ASMR. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It was so cute that I have this and Josh is gonna go ahead. I'm not miking any mouths today, by the way, because I, I personally, I can't, <laughs> I can't. We're gonna have to get Josh's say in this. Oh, I can't rip it off. No, oh, Josh. <laughs> He's too smart. 
heart. <laughs> so cute. Was it cute? I hope so. Oh, you good boy. That's your only free treat for the day. He's got to work for the rest. This next one is something that I've always wanted to try. Honeycomb. Have you ever just watched, you know, a video of bees or something and went like, I want to eat a piece of that honeycomb. For me, it's always cartoon bears eating. Oh, them. oh, when they're like taking the honeycomb and dipping it. Oh, oh, look at this. Honeycomb ASMR. By the way, I really like the Zach Choi guy. We're gonna watch him because I really like him. I really like the way that he like smiles while he eats and how he does no talking. It's just like you really get to enjoy the eating experience. Oh my goodness, this guy takes the packaging off really slowly. Meanwhile, I'm just like... Wait, why is his so juicy? Mine looks like, like a dry, crusty piece of honeycomb. How do I get it out of here? Oh. Maybe I need a spatula. Spoon's probably better. I understand that the thing that makes up honeycomb is like wax, but that doesn't make me want to try it any less. Oh, do you feel kind of bad? For what? Like bees are necessary for our ecosystem and I'm just like, hey, here's a bee's house. <laughs> Something about it doesn't seem right to me. Mm. <gasps> this is raw, actually. I mean, you wouldn't be able to pasteurize this, right? Because then it would melt the wax. That, like, look how juicy that is on the inside. Like a passion fruit, kind of. Anyways, time to try it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really, 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 really good. It tastes like somebody made this in a bakery. Like it tastes like a piece of pie. Oh, you have to try this. That's so good. These, garbage. This saving for later and eating for dessert. This is the best honey I've ever had. I was a little bit let down at first because everybody else's honey like seems so yellow. That honey in like a bear, like that processed honey look. And this looked very like raw, <laughs> but man, the flavor complexity is so intense. How can I describe the flavor complexity? Usually sweet is very like one note. It's just sweet. It's just sugar. This is the tastiest sweet thing I've ever had because it's actually sweet, but it's complex. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's just like honey, but it like, it does everything it needs to do to your taste buds. These Korean fire noodles are very, very popular. I don't understand why they're so popular for ASMR. This is Matt Stoney eating so much of it. And I can understand why his did well because he eats a lot of food, but like in general, people really like to watch people eat these fire noodles. And I don't understand it because they are so hot that it's uncomfortable. From the same brand, I've tried the hot chicken carbo, which is really good because it has a creamy element to it. I don't think I've tried these before and I think they're just gonna hurt. Mm. Oh! <coughs> you need the nuggets to put out the fire? Um, so the thing with these noodles is they're really, really spicy, but they taste really good. But even though I'm in pain right now, all I want to do is take another bite. There's something to be said about how spicy this is. If you're really into spicy food, you understand that like when you're thinking about spicy food, your mouth waters and like you're, that mouth watering, I feel like that plays a role in the ASMR because like when you're watching it, your mouth waters, like you kind of get like part of the satisfaction from watching somebody eat all this. You're just like, Ugh, my mouth's watering. <laughs> It's so hot. This combo, deadly. Mm. Mm. The nuggets really help. This combo might be like the biggest two on the internet. Like this might be the godfathers. There's another godfather that I don't know why it's a godfather and I'm so worried that I'm gonna throw up that I'm gonna keep these here because people be eating aloe vera. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I really like this. I wanna build my spice tolerance so that I can eat this happily. I don't like spice that's just spicy and it tastes bad. Like this is spicy and it tastes good. I wanna be part of this, this club of people that, that eat this. Mm. The third bite was actually a lot easier to handle. I think that it, like, it shocked my system and now I'm like kind of used to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's Cartha from the future. I got myself this here aloe plant, so we're gonna cut her up. We're gonna do surgery on this thing. Can you believe? Look at this. Wait, you're not even cutting it. I know, I'm just getting it ready. What? If you do this, it doesn't feel it. You know what I mean? No. Me neither. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, boil. What is that? Shiny goo. Oh! Ah. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know. I used to drink aloe drink a lot in high school because I thought it was like super, okay, I'm sorry, look at this. 
Ew. Ew. You're drunk. You're drunk. If you're eating this, you're drunk. I can't stand this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have myself a little slice. Okay, please. You have to make that sound effect. Okay, let me get some chopsticks. What are you doing? That's my food. Are you touching my food? Yeah, I've just seen the goopy strings come off it. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to cut it into a smaller piece. Why is this thing blowing bubbles? Chill, pop, please. Oh my God, go away. People on ASMR channels, they gobble this down. They love it. One time when I was little, the most traumatizing show I ever watched, okay, like, I'm obviously being hyperbolic right now, but a show that I found very traumatizing involved a girl, she was like eating toast, and then she had like these like spit strings when she was eating, and that disturbed me. Like it deeply disturbed me so much and for so long that whenever I see stuff like this kind of stuff, whenever I see this, it makes me ill. Um, so I'm really taking one for the team here. Ugh. The taste is not bad. The taste like very much tastes like nothing. Like if you ever had like an aloe drink before, like the little pieces of aloe you're chewing, it's very much like this. Um, but the, I would call it slime. It coats your entire mouth. And it's stuck. It's stuck there. It's still, still there. I got most of it, but it's there for longer than you would like. Longer than you invited it for. And if you're into this kind of thing, I don't know about you. I don't know if I trust you. Yeah, you're just out there buying up these gigantic aloe leaves. You're the kind of person I feel like, like when you're making out, like you. Actually, no. I'm, okay, I'm not gonna be too rude, but. I'm very disturbed by this, but that's like due to my own past like issues. I find this very offensive. Okay, we get it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use the rest of it. Um, I mean, I don't really have any burns. I burned my tongue yesterday, but I'm not putting it in my mouth again. I burned my thumb. Yeah, that's true. You burn your thumb badly making a video, but yeah, no, I'm I'm probably just gonna like use this on my skin because I can't. It's awful. Look at this. No, no. 